We are currently at RAF Rudlow, which is site one, which is officially the UFO HQ. Oh. So we are literally stealthing around these buildings. Yo! Yeah. Was that? Was that? We are currently being tailed by the police. Right, so we're back on the road, this is it. Uh, we met with a guy today called Mark, who Dan was on the phone to. He's actually here now and he's got loads of locations for us, so it's going to be quite interesting. Whether we can get in, we'll have to, we'll have to see. Uh, but should be a good day. So I've just come across some nosy guy, he's decided to um, block us and uh, pretty much kick off of us and start coming out with his camera. Don't quite know what's going on there but something mm. weird about that guy. Okay. Yeah. We haven't even done anything, we've not gone on any base. This is a public road leading to a village, but they know straight away. And I think it's got something to do with the fact that we actually were too honest and well, we went and said, asked. He said something's been stolen. Yes, that's right. That's what I was on about. There's, there's people broke in underground and stole a load of tools belonging to people who work there. And they're using that as an excuse now to kind of, you know, be itchy with people. But, yeah. uh, you know, we're just a car driving up a road. I mean, you know, and the guy's like, why are you here? And it's like, well, we're just a car driving up this lane. I know, lane. it's weird, that. It's strange, isn't it? <laughs> this, is where, this is where this place gets very interesting. Like I said, you know, stuff happens here that wouldn't happen anywhere else. No. Right, okay, so Matt, we've come to this location now. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Right, this is uh, Sands Quarry, and it adjoins the underground city called Burlington. Yeah. And if you go in here and down a slope shaft, then you come to a set of tunnels and a big door, and you can't get any further. But some people have got through that door. I did get through there once, and uh, there's footage online of what was inside. Quite an interesting day out. Yeah. Cool, and that's on your that's on your channel. Yeah, absolutely. go check his channel out, guys. Let's do this. He found a way in. <laughs> we have evidence it wasn't us that did it as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I'm guessing this slope would have been, oh no, you can see the tracks there. This would is like the old tramway. You can actually see uh, one of the cable reels there. You know, to stop yeah. the cable uh, so it's suspended, so it's not actually grinding. Yeah. You would ne never get through that one, would you? That is proper bolted. Jesus, they really have done a good job on that since I've last been here. It used to be uh, just a sort of bars, but now that's, that's iron girders. Three cameras, my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. Yeah, this is the command of the Defence Communications Network. The British MOD, every bit of telecommunications goes through this place, encrypted and not, and they have the uplinks to the uh, satellites, which are known as Skynet, and uh, that keeps the military and communications all over the world. So this is as important as some citadels in London, GCHQ, it all happens here, but it just looks like a leafy lane, and they've even built a couple of uh, kids swings outside it just to make it look like it's all nicey nicey, but yeah, there's a lot more going on beneath the surface than meets the eye. We are currently at RAF Rudlow, which is site one, which is officially the UFO HQ, so you know a lot about this place, don't you? Too much. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've had my mind wiped by the zapper, you know, so that some bits are missing, but yeah. Men in black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, down that way is the manor house itself and then there's a big building which is the registry and you could just imagine all these l long rows of uh, cabinets where they would have had all the documents and artifacts and things that they were investigating and uh, you can still get access to some of those so if we go and have a look at where they were doing their investigations and where the, st the storage stuff was and I think all the, the investigations we, we were doing prompted them to move the base away from here because it was just too much attention so they moved it to uh, uh, a place near Hertfordshire. Now, what were they investigating again? UFOs. 
It was like a UFO sighting or crash, right? Anything that was an unidentified flying object. I mean, when you think about it, the military have to uh, have to look into things in case they're military incursions by Russia or right. some Another foreign country. power. Yeah. So they're always interested in stuff, you know, testing out radars and, and whatnot. And uh, yeah. yeah, they had a thing called the Flying Complaints Flight, which used to deal with a lot of this stuff. But I mean, basically, we knew it as the UFO Reporting Center. But uh, the technical name was Flying Complaints Flight. No way. Right. Crazy. Yeah. Well, we're going to make a move now and get in because, uh, you know, just in case there is security on site, uh, we want to be in and not get seen. So, guys, we are currently on a 10 day road trip right now. If you've not seen the road trip video, make sure you'll check it out um, and you can try, basically watch our progress while we've come to um, these locations because we're on a massive explore crawl. It's going to be interesting. So, basically, this, this right now, you can see all the billets and stuff. They're crazy. Uh, Matt's going to take us to the registry office where all the documents were stored um, you know, about UFOs and aliens and stuff. So, guys, leave a comment if you, if you believe in aliens and stuff. I believe there's something out there, whether they're on this earth or not. I don't know. It's all very interesting. It's got me hooked. Wiltshire has got me hooked on UFO stuff now. All the military stuff, but underground stuff. Really digging the underground stuff at the moment. Uh, it's becoming like you know one of my favourite type of explorers. Well, this is it. I mean, there are only rumours about okay. alien bodies that may have come through places like this, port and down. Um, we don't know for certain, but uh, what we do know for certain is they investigated stuff here. All the UFO reports would come through this place first, and the MOD have confirmed this. They're quite happy to say that, and they would have come here. Guys would have investigated them in some cases sent out officers to interview witnesses and silence them, ask them not to talk about what, they, what they'd seen and these were plainclothes guys so you can kind of see where the stories of men in black may have come from bases like this Dude Dude, dog, dogs, dogs Bro Right Let's get down here Being absolutely camouflaged with his pink jacket on. Thank you. 
couldn't stand up this building. What is it on this level? There's another level, this one's blocked off. It seems like there's another level to this. This backs on to where the rotor buildings were. They were all, all here, but they've been flattened. So this was where the rotor command and control centre for the southern sector. And they intercepted UFOs there on the radar screens and they scrambled, they scrambled jets to intercept them. So, you know, that sort of stuff was going on here. See UFOs, get a jet out there, try and intercept it. So we are literally stealthing around these buildings. I'm going to try to get into this. This one right now. <coughs> Proper bad place. So you've got this. On actual military side, it's mental. Right, so this is the entrance right now, but unfortunately we're not going to get in because obviously it's got a padlock on it. We're not breaking in. Not like the 28 days later crew anyway. Um, I've been sketchy trying to get here. But yeah, it's mental. Just to think of all the secret stuff that used to take place in there. UFOs. Like, it's absolutely crazy. Alien conspiracy stuff. Mad. It's like madness. He had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Yeah, that's Merlin, isn't it? Is it? Was it? Right, so, yeah, we are currently being tailed by the police, an unmarked unit. Well, we think it's the police. Uh, they've been following us for about 15 minutes now. Uh, they did actually put the, the, the sirens on before, trying to overtake cars and get around the corner, and then uh, they seem to stash out behind a, a van. And yeah, they've been following us for about absolute ages now. Yeah, this, this is going to be a bit weird because. Um, I don't know what to expect from these uh, these people from behind. So, what, what do you think of that, Dan? Um, men in black. Men in black. <laughs> 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 Shit, man. So, obviously, maybe the places that we have checked out today, um, maybe it's definitely definitely linked up with uh, the MOD style. Very strange, isn't it? Yeah. Very strange. So, but. Um, is it to, to a court and court trying to go to the, with an X. to the Hobbit is it, house? Is it about the... With a D? Um, yes. Is to it get about to the, the UFOs? House. Is it about the UFOs? Yeah, we've been doing a documentary on the UFOs. I have no idea what it is. Oh, okay. Nothing to do with that. Okay. Are you insured to drive this yes, vehicle? Yes, I am, yeah. Okay. Alright. So, what's this about UFOs then? So, we're YouTubers <laughs> and we do... Um, it doesn't sound weird, but we do abandon places, conspiracy theories. And right. um, we've been doing uh, all the abandoned Woodlaw Manors and uh, the Corsham Centre right. and the Burlington Bunker. We've been doing a big documentary on that. Okay. Um, so we've been round, we've been round all that area today, um, documenting it. Right. Um, seeing if there's any open entrances. There wasn't, unfortunately. Yeah, um, they tend to keep that kind of place locked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, and because we heard quite a lot of um, there been a UFO taken down into the Burlington Bunker. Right. And parts have been stripped off since the CCC to uh, reverse engineer for projects for our country, I'm guessing. Yeah, we do a lot of documentaries on those. Like, we did one on Loch Ness Monster up in Scotland. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. did the Loch Ness Monster. That was uh, December last year. Do you want to take my YouTube channel down so you can check it yeah. out? Yeah, it's, just uh, have a look. You can see yeah. <laughs> exploring with fighters. And these guys have got their own YouTube channels. Yeah, this is, yeah, we're on a little, like a little trip. Okay. It's come all the way from America for this. Yeah. <laughs> so, and did you meet through like your YouTube? YouTube, yeah. 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 We do, we do this on. Awesome. Steve's got 400,000 followers. I'm only at 37,000 at the moment. I mean, who are you? <laughs> who are you? Oh, it's Steve's YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Ronan. <laughs> right, okay. No. So, whose car is it, sorry? Mine. It's yours, sir? Yeah. Unfortunately, I have to tell you, your vehicle's been cloned. Wow. That's the reason why we've come up all the old guns blazing and chasing, yeah? Because this car was yesterday, there was a vehicle there you go, guys. registration what? moving about in London yesterday. There you so, go, no, so we, was, I was we, we was in London yesterday. No, we wasn't. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no yes, it was yesterday. Three days ago. Yeah, so. Um, Take drop 
minute when he ain't done it. No, <laughs> we was, we, yeah, we was in London three days so ago. We, right. Yeah, you got handed to us yesterday, done some work on it, and you were in Chippenham yesterday or in the Wiltshire area. Yes, we were. Uh, yeah. And the, um, the same registration was being used in London at the same time. Wow. So, okay. so someone's copied your, your plates. Your plates wow, no way. So right. they, they are they're bad, naughty people. Um, so that's why we have. I followed you up here. So it's definitely not to do with the UFO conspiracy. <laughs> definitely. <No. laughs> <laughs> 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 you said that to me and I went. No. Oh We've been doing a UFO documentary today down in Caution. Yeah. So then when all these police cars surround us, I was like, I knew it, I knew it. It's something to do with the UFOs. The FBI, no, they've no. come to that. Like, no, no, no. So your so your number plates, somebody has has copied your number plates and put it on another vehicle right. which they're going out and committing crime with. No way. So you wow. may well, the same car? So on an exactly the same vehicle but obviously the chassis numbers are different. Right, okay. So um, you may well get stopped by police okay. in the future. Yeah. <laughs> that was the craziest thing ever. Police opposite everywhere but um, yeah, I, I, just, I just don't understand it. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now you understand, right? When I tell people that if you go near Rudlow Manor, they will f with you, <laughs> and they just f with us. You've been right all this time. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my you days, bro. Oh, Honestly, I told you. She didn't move when she wouldn't get out of the car, and I saw another one coming up behind a proper car with dogs in it. I thought. We're gonna get bit. <laughs> I messaged yeah, yeah. uh, the group chat, the exploring crew, like Josh, Cody, and John. They think I'm <laughs> right now. I was like, dude, FBI caught us. <laughs> We're screwed. They're taking my camera and laptop. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I knew. Do now, yo. I, I'm thinking we don't do the explore now. <laughs> I think we go and get our hotel. Yeah, I'm thinking edit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not feeling yeah. that explore now. I'm sh I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Literally, oh, okay. I caught an onto it about 15, 20 minutes ago, and I was like, no, I've been followed here, mate. Yeah. Been followed. They need an excuse to stop you, to see who you are, to find out what you're doing. Is that why you pulled in here? No, that's, that's the thing. Oh, is it? Yeah, this is where we, well, this is where we was the other week, man. But I, I thought you could walk down that lane, apparently not. It was my car, because my car's flagged, which is why I often jump in someone else's car to go right. in there. They, you are actually a bit too YouTube star for your, uh, your, your own good, I think, yes. Because I think they knew when you came to town, oh shit, something's happening, yeah? Because they got AMPR yeah, PR yeah. cameras on the lamppost, something. They? they were like that, you know? And it could be, it started with the guy where we asked him nicely in Octavian Wine Merchants. Mm. It could be there, and he passed the number back, and they all started, oh, what's this number, what's this number? Let's check it, check it, check it. And they put you on AMPR so they could get you wherever you went and just check what you're doing. So it could have been that, but it could be because you're a big YouTube star. And they've been watching your channel. <laughs> YouTube star. <laughs> yeah, you're getting famous, bro. And you could have a okay. new subscriber tonight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whoever that subscriber is, might be them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. CCC. <laughs> Absolutely crazy, bro. UK <laughs> government watching my channel. Mate, I knew it. Did you, do you know what I said to her? I was like, I thought I knew he was following me. I'm from Manchester. <laughs> I caught on to stuff like that. Yeah, but how, how how would they know the actual car is cloned? Exactly. Look at it this way, right? I'm driving the car. Well, Carl's driving the car. Unless they had that other car impounded, how would they know this was cloned? You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's if it, if, and everything. if there's anyone clued up on the police, leave a comment right now. Let us know what your thoughts are on this, because because I'm miffed out of it. Well, I'm not miffed out. Well, it's actually miffed. <laughs> it's, it's miffed me. I'll tell you what doesn't make sense. If the car was cloned yesterday in London, they said, yeah. yesterday, it could drive around London racking up tickets. They wouldn't know that that wasn't you until you didn't pay the tickets, which can't happen since yesterday. So how do they know the car's cloned? It's not cloned. It's bullshit. It's not cloned. So why would they just drive away now? Because they know who you are. That's all they want to do is establish who you are. If they mm. could have done that in Corsham, they'd have been happy. But they didn't catch you in Corsham, so they've been tracking well, we've you been, all the way. We have been floating so, around Corsham, yeah, like round, now round. They know who we are. They'll just leave us alone. Like I don't get it. They don't want. They just want to make sure we're not terrorists. Uh, yeah, that's I fair mean, enough. You, you've got to bear in mind that that place is the new secret GCHQ that they're trying to play down. And we've been hanging around the CDCN. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've been know, hanging around. And the Defence think, Communications why Network. Why do you think I planted in a mind? <laughs> Straight away, UFOs. Yes. Because then she's like, UFOs. As soon as, soon yeah. as you mention UFOs, they're like, oh, you're they're right. A, they're just a bunch of crap pots, you know? <laughs> just a bunch of UFO yeah. idiots. That's all they are. They're no, no threat to us. Yeah, yeah. 
That's why I planted that. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's one of my tactics. That is it's a good, uh, good so, way. Always say the UFOs. Yeah, this could be a conspiracy, guys. There could be potentially aliens there, <laughs> and they just wanted us to go away. Yeah. But how would they know the car was cut? Was cloned? I know. If they haven't exactly. got the other car. Exactly. No, they might just use as an excuse to yeah, stop exactly. us. I mean, two cars driving round. Maybe the system says these are too far apart and they're at the same time. Hmm. But do they know that? It could be a mistake. I mean, would they just have to like, oh, we'll pull true. them all over? That's true. They said this vehicle has been primed, i.e. it's been put on the system. <coughs> yeah. It's not something well, that the system has automatically generated. He knew it was in caution today. Yes. Right? Yeah. Because he said you've been in caution today. And he said that we was in London yesterday. So he was like, it's been cloned. <laughs> So wait a minute, it still doesn't... Yeah, can't doesn't, they find I, out where the other car is right now then? To compare like... Don't know. She didn't, she not say anything, did she? About what happens to the car, so... You should I, ask that question. I personally think it's because we've been lingering around the main government centre. Yeah. I really do think we've so. We've probably passed the AMPR so many times and probably like, right, this car's passed the AMPR ten times today. Mm. Yeah, Check so it like, out. Why has why it passed the AMPR so many times? Mm. Mm. Yep. What happens and a though? AMPR is um, automatic register Num uh, number plate registration. registration. Yeah. Okay. So it basically reads the registration every time you drive past it on the car. Welcome awesome. To Redlow Manor. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> that was quality. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was exciting. That was exciting. <laughs> I don't think we should be messing about with aliens. No, let's, let's just leave it to this guy. Let's leave it. No. <laughs> Secret vault. <laughs> but but Secret I might vault. go missing. I need you guys you to come out. <laughs> they took me. If you go missing, we'll come back and investigate. Yeah. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we don't hear from you again. Good to meet you. Everyone, make sure you go check his channel out. The Secret Vault. Go go do it. Absolutely crazy. Please. Just wow. I need another three subscribers to take it to a total of ten. <laughs> go subscribe, check his content out. Yeah. Well, it's been it's been an interest it's been an interesting uh, journey today. Uh, it's been good. It's been good. The truth is out there. It is indeed. Absolutely crazy. Brilliant.